when you first access Microsoft Teams, you have to click on the tile on the launch pad and go. And it will load up a window that shows you all the different teams that you are a member of. At this point, it will also give you an option to download the desktop app for Teams if you're on a computer. You can download that and it means you don't have to go down to go every time you want to access Microsoft Teams, which is a bonus. It doesn't give you that option along there, but you do want to download the app. Down the bottom of the Teams window is this little icon down here and that will allow you to download the desktop app as well onto your computer. Now, all of these different um, tiles here are members, um, are teams that this particular student is a member of. If I was to click on this particular team here, show you how it works. It automatically takes you into a posts page, or posts tab even. And here, everything that happens in the team generally comes into the screen. Any work that's issued um, through assignments, um, it will give a link here as well. You can view what the work is you've been set. Um, any time you get stuck or something like that and you want to put a, a comment in, everybody in the team, students and teachers um, of that subject will be able to see your post and if they can help you, they will. So you just type your post into there and you click the little arrow down here and it sends it up and you can receive a notification as well that there's been some sort of comment made. The files tab along the top as well, if your teacher has uploaded any files for you to access, um, I for example put um, the PowerPoints I use in my classes up here so that anybody who's off will be able to access them um, so you can catch up. So if I click on that just now. And inside the class materials folder, all of the different topics, well, some of the different topics for this particular subject, and all of the different PowerPoints for that particular topic. So if you're off, check the team, see if you can catch up on anything. We've also got a class notebook tab. Um, your teacher may or may not use that particular one, so I'll let them tell you about that one if they do. Assignments, that's any of the work that you have been issued. Um, will show up here. For example, it will have anything that's been assigned to you that you haven't completed perhaps or that you have still got to complete will show on this one. And if you were to click on completed, it would drop you down a whole list of things that you have already completed. Grades along the top as well that will show you what you got for each particular bit of work that you completed. And any particular tabs that are along here, for example, BBC Bite Size, Bright Red, and our particular Twitter page, they are tabs that your teacher can add um, that will take you to particular places they think might be of help to you. So if I was to click on BBC Bite Size, it would take you to the National Five business page because that's the particular team that we're in for more help. I click back on Teams at the side here you back to the main window so if you need to go into a different team you'll be able to go into that there. Activity along the side, that will, anything that's been happening in any of your teams, um, any comments, any work that's been issued in from that will show up in the activity tab. Assignments, that takes you to everything you've been issued for all of your different subjects. So for example if I click that there, it allows you to search by team and it'll take you, if I click on that particular one there, Next, it takes you right into the assignment tab of that particular team so you can see if you've got anything due. Calendar, that would tell you um, any particular what you've got due as well or any meetings that you've got. And files, anything that you have been working on fairly recently. Back to Teams, click on that one. And that's it.